All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my weekly chill stream of MLB The Show 19. We're starting up tonight with a game against the Phillies. As you can see, our team is amazing. 4-13 and 13 for the season. Always a good sign of, of a, an up-and-coming winning team. And they can't even win more than uh, you know, a fourth of the time when they're playing. Very nice. Tony Hawk says that the Lion King live-action movie is good, but be, the Be Prepared song was not in it. Only a little bit. I guess the hyenas dancing like like like, <laughs> like Nazis in the animation of the Disney movie didn't make sense. I guess... I guess it wouldn't have made sense if they're trying to make it look realistic, but that was one of the better parts of the movie, in my opinion. So it's kind of sad that it's not in it anymore. Jimmy and Stunlock said, would I consider unbanning others as they behave? Yes, I have done that many times, Champion Stunlock. Many times I've unbanned people. Let her rip, let her rip. Derek said, Secret Life of Pets 2 was a really awesome movie. Cool. I I'm probably going to watch it on Yay. demand at some point later this year. Okay. Here we go. There are all new animations. I've updated all my animations tonight for swinging, hitting, home runs, etc. So we'll see what they look like tonight. If I get some home runs and the like. Hey, wait for your pitch up there, huh? Oh. Was that too late? No, it's too early. Too early. Let her rip. Oh! The knuckleball strikeout. That's one of the very rare times I've struck out. Dude, that knuckleball, whatever it is, is fucking crazy. Knuckle curve, I think it's called. The knuckle curve. An actual strikeout. Can you guys believe it? Way to go. The Witcher oh, Netflix series had a trailer so release today. I did not see that. Is, that any, is it any good? From what I've heard, it doesn't sound like it's going to be like the, the games. It sounds like they're doing their own thing, which is, of course, going to upset everybody. Da, 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 da. Let's play ball. Three, four, four. Take your base. Three. Out. All right. Let's try this again. Am I going to play the Ghostbusters remaster yeah, when it comes out? Ask Fat Mr. Bo. I think so. I liked the game so much back in the day when I played it almost you know, nine years ago at this point. And I love Ghostbusters, so I think I'm going to replay, replay the remaster. I think so. Oh, that went straight up. Sticky Dick says that The Witcher is based more on the book. Superman is playing. Geralt looks okay, like a better version of Game of Thrones. Okay. Leading up for the Phillies. James Earl Jones does an amazing job as Mufasa in The Lion King. Well, considering he did, he did it to begin with in the early 90s, now here he is like 20, what is it, like 26, 27 years later, and he's doing the voice again, over again. He's like, damn, I, didn't I already do this? I feel like it's like deja vu. <laughs> Sad boy, please please stop. You're already getting creepy. I, already, I just unbanned you and you're already asking me weird questions. Please stop. Don't do that. That's a good hit, but he's probably going to get it. Yep. Damn. Am I going to play Rocket Power 64? I've never heard of it. I don't know what that is. I need a goddamn hit this game, man. Oh, uh, Champion Stunlock, how does one go about receiving an unbanned if they promise to behave? They got email me, say who they are, state their case. I, I usually look up the logs on Twitch to see what, what happened. And sometimes I'll have a, you know, a situation where I decide to unban someone. <clears throat> okay. Ugh. Late. Hey, you got it. No one better. Let's go, kid. I have problems with this pitcher. Good hit. No. It went right up again. Are you kidding me? Why can't I hit the balls off this pitcher, dude? I can't get a hit off this guy. I don't know why. I just can't get a hit off this guy. 
And we lost. I couldn't get a single hit all game. Okay. Our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Philadelphia Phillies. Eight runs, ten hits. No all errors. Right. They left ten men on base. God damn it. Sad boy, I don't even have any VIPs in the chat at all. <laughs> He's like, oh, chat wants you to make me a VIP. First of all, no, they don't. Second of all, I don't have any VIPs in the chat at all. I've never I've never gone through, you know, with that practice. Boone Wood has reached over three months. Thank you very much, Boone Wood, for three months of support. I appreciate that. Six hits in the next three games. I hope so. Hey, Mr. Boas, when was the last time I saw a Police Academy movie? I couldn't even tell you. Long time ago. Definitely a long time ago. What the hell? Go T Phil V2 as if a game dev put an Easter egg of me in their game. Uh, and it was poking fun at me, would I be mad or would it depend on the reference? I really don't give a shit about anyone poking fun at me at all as long as it's not something insanely malicious or, like, personally insulting. So, there you go. I guess I'd be flattered if Game Dev actually cared enough about me to put me in a game to begin with. Like, who cares about me? Right? Three, three, out, three, what I had for dinner tonight? Tonight we had perfect. tuna casserole. This time around we tried rotini pasta instead of elbow mac macaroni. And in my opinion, it actually came out much better. Like, sometimes the elbow macaroni, you get a bunch of plain pieces. Or, you get, I don't know, you just get pieces. It doesn't go, like, it doesn't distribute the ingredients as well. When I, we had the rotini pasta, like, every piece had, had everything on it. Like, tuna and cheese and breadcrumb. It was just really good. So. Oh, nice. Very nice. That's just a base hit, though. Yep. Very nice. I finally got a hit. After that no hitter, of course this is a different pitcher. So that's one in, I need five more hits. To do that challenge. Boonwood suggests bow tie pasta as well. He says it's very good for tuna casserole. Thank you for the suggestion. Maybe I'll I'll tell uh Cat about that. That's I believe it's called farfalle bow tie pasta. I think they also call it like butterfly pasta or something like that. What is my favorite pasta noodle? I don't necessarily have a favorite. If, we're, if I'm talking with just like regular red sauce, probably like uh, roti uh, rigatoni. Because rigatoni are those nice that tubes that you can get a lot of sauce and the stuff in. Um, but if you're talking in general, I mean, I like, I like a lot of them. Linguini, spaghetti, uh, rotini, penne, rigatoni, ravioli. Because ravioli is a stuffed pasta. That's a little different, but... <coughs> And they caught it. <clears throat> Did I know the Lion King plays earned over $9 billion? No, I didn't, but I'm not surprised. I actually saw it. I saw the Lion King on Broadway when I was much, 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 much younger. Okay, I'll be back a second time. Whew. Is Italian cuisine my favorite? S sad boy ass? Nah. I love Italian cuisine, don't get me wrong. But I don't know if it's, it's like, oh my god, I, I have an Italian over everything. I'm not like that. I like a variety of foods. Yeah, Derek, I agree. Pat Oswalt has a very, very distinct voice. He said that he recognized it in the Secret Life of Pets 2 because he had recognized it from the Minecraft Story Mode game. Yeah, his voice is very, very... Oh! Almost took his fucking head off. His voice is very distinct. So, I'm not surprised that you recognized it. I think he does a good job as a voice actor. So that's two hits already. Very nice. What's funny is, look at this. We're one of the batting average leaders, apparently, yet our team can't win games at all. So all that means is that, you know, it's our field work sucks ass and our pitch is terrible. Versus this, can you hit other players with the ball? I think so. I think you can hit the pitcher. You can, like, you can directly hit them with the ball. I, I don't know if there's a rule about if that happens if, like, you only get a, a standard base hit or something. I'm not sure how it works. 
Well, once again, my, my hit has gone to complete waste. Delightful. Oh, I can get it up to bat again. Great, a two hit, a two hit, uh, run home run. We're losing five to nothing. See what I mean? Like our, our guys now suck. The pitcher, Eric Lauer. Eternal Napuff says, "I'd like your your opinion between Shadow of War, Prey, and Neo." Oh man, Neo is definitely the hardest of all those games. And if you like Dark Souls esque games, that's gonna be your game for sure. I would say, um. Shadow of War is okay. It's not great, but it's it's good. You get a lot of content out of it. And Prey, in my opinion, was a really good sci-fi thriller style, um, you know, RPG FPS hybrid. A lot of people didn't like it because it followed formulas of games like Thief and other stuff, but I actually really like Prey. Out of all those, if you like Dark Souls level difficulty, get Neo. If not, I would probably say Prey. Here you go. Here go. Boom! Get up, get up. That's out there, but I don't think it's going to be a home run. It's a home run! Nice! That's three hits, and the third hit was a home run, baby. Very nice. I got this guy's number. This is my new home run celebration. I just unlocked this. Well, I didn't unlock it, but tonight I changed a lot of my animations. I changed my swinging animation. I changed my home run animation. I changed a lot of them. So. Nice. Way back there. Very good. All right. Let's see here. Uh, Bent Boxer Cheers at home run. Thank you for the cheer, Bent Boxer. Gooder Drums did a $5 tip. Thank you. You're the top tipper of the night. He says, would you be open to a game being created centered around you and your eternal struggle against trolls and detractors and the developer gave you equal say as all the trolls put together? Um, it certainly would be interesting. And obviously, if it's about me, you know, it, it, using my likeness, they would have to have me involved, whether I, I get a cut of the profits or I, I'm part of the development of the game. You know what I mean? Like, um, it would be very interesting to see what, you know, what they would do. But, um... I'm not against it. At the same time, I don't know how many people would actually care or buy it. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not a popular dude, so I don't think anyone would really care that much. <clears throat> Leading off for the popular, yeah, Purple Haze, I know. He said sometimes the, the home run animation, Michael the special ones, will only trigger, like, trigger on no doubters. Right. And that one, it, it might have made it, it might not have made it. So that's why it didn't really trigger. I get it. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Okay. Champion Stunlock is asking, how do I like Marvel so far? I'm avoiding your stream because of the spoilers, but wanted to know your thoughts. I would say, gameplay-wise, all right, and plot-wise, it's pretty much on par with Marvel Ultimate Alliance 1 and 2. Um, ton of characters, lots of, like, oh, here's a, a Marvel villain who's part of the plot out of nowhere and stuff like that. It's pretty neat. Um, but the performance of the game is not good on Switch. It's choppy as hell. Um... It's jittery when you do online co-op, and the menu system it leaves much to be desired. So, very hit or miss. Okay, but, the game I'm really liking the game so yeah, far, because I'm a fan of Marvel, and I haven't played a game like this in so long. I'm having a really good time with it. <clears throat> Two guys on base. It's up there, but it does not have enough power. Nope. It didn't have enough power. Damn it. it sucked. Play ball. Three. Out. Would have been a nice three-run homer. We still would have lost anyway. You see what I mean? Even with the great performance I'm putting in, we're losing 8-2. to two. My team can't win to save their life, and it has nothing to do with me. They just fucking suck. The Pirates fucking suck. Are you kidding me? I'm up again. I'm up again. Up next to the pirate. Here we go, baby. The first baseman. Yeah. Kid. All right. Get your pitch. Ugh! I did not like the look of that pitch. That was a ball, right? That was high.
Ugh. I don't like this this fucking Oh that was a, that wasn't a ball? The first pitch was a strike. I swear the fucking uh the, the umpire said ball one, but whatever. Oh fuck. Solid hit! It's got distance! He's got it. Damn it. Not enough. Not enough. It was a good try, though. I mean, three out of five ain't bad, especially when one of them was a home run. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious San Diego Padres. Eight runs on 15 hits. Kill Bill said, Did you hear there's a potential class action lawsuit because of the Nintendo Joy Cons failing? No. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't be involved because I don't use the Joy Cons. Like I refuse to use them. I started playing a few games with them when I first got my Switch. I thought it was okay, and then I was like, "Dude, I just can't do this. This feels so fucking weird to play on these things, and they feel so flimsy. I don't want to." So that's why I got the Pro Controller, and then I started using the Pocket Tournament or Pokin Tournament controller, and now I'm using the Hori pad that uh, Crazy Dream donated for me. Super Bad Cat asked, can you get a, become a free agent and get traded in this game? That I have no idea. The center I honestly don't know how I would even go about doing that. First asked that I attached it to the controller thing. I did. I both held them loosely and attached it to the controller thing, but they just don't feel very good. They feel like light and flimsy. They don't feel like good controllers at all. They feel like if you use them for a little bit, they would just break easily. Okay, my first step bat for this game. Batting four. The first baseman, Jock King. Jock King. Ugh, foul. Shouldn't have swung at that. It was low. Jack Spartacus said he broke one of his Joy Cons. That sucks. Oh. Good hit. Good distance. That might be a home run. That's out there, dude. Home run. That's four out of the six hits. Very nice. Home run. Oh, I forgot to dab for the last one. <laughs> Very nice. Blamo. Thank you, Box, for a cheer. 50 bit cheers at a home run. Damn, very nice. Play ball. Three. Out. Three. Jack Sparty says his Three. thumbstick just stopped working. That Three. really stinks, man. Second surprise, it's sad. All the Nintendo Three. Nintendo controllers suck ass concerning back in the day the Super NES controller was the best one. It's true, now don't get me wrong, the Super NES controller would wear out. Usually it wouldn't be the D pad, it would be the shoulder buttons. Because back then, the shoulder buttons were, were new. There was no other controller that had a shoulder button when the SNES came out. So actually, the shoulder buttons were used for a lot of games. And you're right, they, the shoulder buttons would break. But you know, the SNES pad was very fucking durable and lasted a long time. Hey, now, now batting, first baseman, Josh King. All right. Great hit. He's got power, but I think he's got it. He's got it. Yep. Damn it. Damn it. Play ball. Play that would have been crazy. Back to back home runs. This guy would have been so embarrassed. Three. 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 Look how many runs they're scoring. You see what I mean? It doesn't matter what I do at bat. The team is so bad, we lose by a million runs because they cannot the stop the Number fucking five. batters. Shortstop. It's got to okay. be the fucking... The pitcher's terrible. Our pitcher's fucking complete trash, dude. It can't be like, oh, 100 errors. It has to be the pitcher's shit. <laughs> Why am I questioning Sambuco's 100 bits? What are you talking about? Oh, I put a question mark up there by accident. Oops. I'm not questioning. I put a question mark up there by accident. Whoops. Sorry about that, Simbuka. <laughs> I didn't question the bits. 
Up next for Pittsburgh, the first baseman, Josh King. Okay. In the ball, King, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. I don't even want to know, please. Don't tell me. I don't want to hear this gross shit. Ah. Shit, now I'm in trouble. Now I'm in fucking trouble, man. Ah, uh, it's gonna get it. He's gonna get it. Fuck. Ugh. Oh my god, Derek said he was watching classic WWE NXT. Like, what they had to do stupid challenges and stuff. Remember when Daniel Bryan was supposed to uh, eat hot dogs, but he wasn't a meat eater, so they had a soda drinking contest. And he's like, remember, guess the high school picture? Yeah, it was, it was pretty bad. I'm glad they actually made NXT to a real fucking show. The first baseman, Josh King. God damn it. Really? Uh. Let's play ball. Three, three, four, four. Take the base. Look at! Oh my God! Base is loaded. Dude, our pitcher is fucking garbage. Why is he still pitching? Manuel, Margot. Great. I don't even care. We weren't going to win anyway, so I don't give a fuck. Guess who lost? What a surprise. And now I got to get, I think, two more hits in this last game to complete the challenge. A nice face plant. The Nothing like a nice face for plant. This afternoon's ball game for the victorious San Diego Padres. Seriously, it doesn't even matter how much effort I put in. My team sucks so hard, we'll never win. I could get fucking four grand slams in a game, but we'd still lose. Batting four. The first baseman, Josh King. Ugh, I don't like that, that, that pitch. A high, a high slider. I don't like that. By the way, I realize I'm blocking the leaderboard here. Hold on. My webcam is blocking the leaderboard. Here we go. There we go. Okay. Better. Oh my god, I keep popping it up. What the fuck, dude? I keep popping it up. I don't know why now. I, I don't know why I keep... This is really frustrating. My batting clutch is going way the fuck down. And I need to get two more hits this game. I, I keep fucking up. Bad. I don't know what's going on. Uh, okay. Manny Machado. Manny Machado? No, Mach Manny Machado. Ball, 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 that's mine. Ball, 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 that's his. Alright. Oh, thanks, Heidi Watney, sideline reporter. Oh. I can't hear you. I don't know what's going on. They're highlighting my hitting stats, but I don't know why. That was exciting. No one told her her mic was dead during the rainstorm. It died. It got waterlogged, and I didn't tell her. The catcher. Hello, Mr. Alligator3. Thank you very much. Just hope you're doing well. Thank you. Hope you're doing well. No, I do not watch sports, sad boy. I don't. So many times, 
When I was younger, I used to, but not anymore. Boy, I keep fucking up. I keep pressing the wrong button. No. Look at how much they're scoring. Come on, big guy. See you trying to see you trying to. Now batting. The first baseman. Josh King. Well, at least I hit the ball, but they're gonna catch that, so. Yeah, I can't get a hit. It sucks. I need two more hits this game, I'm not gonna get them, so I'm not gonna complete the challenge. It fucking sucks. Your attention, please. Up next for the Padres. Did I ever participate in any sport as a kid? Well, I tried out for basketball and I was great at shooting and I couldn't dribble to save my life. I wanted to do Little League, but I missed the tryout date and then I was so upset I never went back. <laughs> um, so no, the answer is no. Even though I did play sports with my friends, I never was formally into sports like on a sports team or anything like that. Now batting. The second baseman. Arthur. Nuts. Here we go, guys. Let's go. Oh, I got it. Nice. What's my favorite James Bond film? Oh, man. I, I've only seen most of them, like, once. So it's hard for me to even answer that, considering I don't really have any real uh, accurate frame of reference, and a lot of them I don't even remember. So... Now batting. First baseman, Josh King. No, sad boy, I've never skated. He said, was I into skating because it was big in the 90s? No, I never, uh... I never did that. DJ Bruno, thank you for the cheer, but I'm never going to sell my bathwater. I'm sorry. You're just going to have to be disappointed. Again? Why do they keep popping up so high? This, this, there's something about this pitcher, the way he's pitching, that he's, he's forcing me to hit the balls high up when I don't want to do that. So there's no way I can get two hits in the game now, so there's no way I'm doing the challenge. This fucking sucks. This sucks. This is a different pitcher. The first baseman. Yeah. Again, what is going on? Dude, I'm hitting the balls exactly the same way I always have. Yeah, and I can't get the balls to stop doing pop flies now. Like, I can't get any power. I don't know what it is. I'm doing the same timing, same way I've been swinging at the balls the entire time I played the game for a month, and I keep popping up high. Complete stupid shit. I don't know what's going on. The final line I don't know what's going on. I'm a little lost tonight. For the victorious. <clears throat> Yeah, Derek, this is, it's terrible because right now my team is so bad, it really doesn't matter if I get a hit or not. Like, literally, it doesn't. No matter what I do, my team sucks ass and loses. They just, it's like, score, score, score. They just let everyone score. I don't even know what happened. <sighs> we're playing the Diamondbacks. Base running aggressiveness. There we go. Still three bases in the next three games. I haven't never stole a base, so. <laughs> Alright, Boone Wood. The 105 bit cheer asking, is there any game or type of game I'd like to play more, but it doesn't really work out stream wise? Uh yeah, as you know, RPGs. I love RPGs. Especially old more older school RPGs, even though that's not necessarily a requirement. But as I told you guys over the years, I would love to play games like Lost Odyssey, um, uh, the the Suikoden series, Wild Arms. Like, there's so many RPGs I would love to play, but I know I can, I can barely get an audience for new RPGs or even RPGs people ask for, barely get get attendance. So, it's tough, man. It would definitely be more RPGs. I love RPGs. No, but I never went to a rave, sad boy. I had friends who did, but I never went to one. I had a friend who was really into that culture. He was into, like, the techno house music, raves, drugs. Yeah, he used to do fucking all kinds of those drugs that you would do at those raves. 
I forget the one that it was that was the big one at the time. Was it acid? Yeah, it was acid. You go, you do, you do lick the acid or whatever, and you get high as fuck at the rave. The glow sticks, the stupid dancing. He was totally into it. The third baseman, Jake Lamb. Skip this shit. No one cares. Hey, no. All right. I got to start getting hits Batting again. Court. This has been ridiculous. I haven't been able to get any hits, base. man. <clears throat> King. He's going. I need. All ones the count. Safe. Stolen base. Oh, the only trouble I've ever done outside the country was to Canada. And it was for for work, so. What kind of music do I listen to right now? I don't actively listen to music. Uh, Kat and I will listen to, basically, uh, relaxing music. Nice, I, I got a good hit. So we'll listen to, like, music that's meant to relax you. And there's many different kinds that you can listen to. So we're listening to a lot of ethnic and cultural music recently on Pandora. Like, first we were listening to Japanese, then we were listening to Indian, and then, actually, if you can believe it, this week we were listening to, like, African music, but, you know, from, like, modern bands and stuff, and we were like, damn, you know, the music of the world's, like, kind of pretty relaxing when you've listened to certain Batman. stuff. The left fielder, David Peralta. Oh, uh, from bottom filter, the 50 bit cheer saying, it's a really cool gold necklace I have. Do streamers wear gold at a status symbol? Well, I don't have a gold necklace. I'm wearing no necklace at all, so I don't know what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> I wouldn't know what other uh, streamers do, though. Great. I never owned a gold necklace. I never owned anything that was gold in my whole life. Never have I owned anything that was gold. All right, Derek, thank you for posting your question for Ask the King. I appreciate it. Now batting, first baseman, Josh King. It's a good one. Nah, that didn't, that didn't go far enough. He's got it. Yep. Damn. Dude, we're losing 12 to 2. It's only the fifth inning. Do you see what I mean? 12 to fucking 2? Now batting. First what the three. fuck is Go. going on? Twelve to two in the fifth fucking inning. Oh. Oh. DJ Bruno Chitty said, why haven't I started a music career? I'd rather listen to Philly B than Cardi B. Probably because you actually need something called talent, and I don't have it. That's why. Oh, uh, and he's got it. Damn it. When you have no talent, you can't have a career in something. <laughs> you know? I have no I have no musical talent. <clears throat> when I was younger, I was much better. I could hold the note. I can't even do that anymore. Robert. Well, DJ Runo says neither does she, but she did, but she has a career too. It is crazy to music. There's no accounting for taste, I guess. I don't know what to tell you. Ow. 
Hey now, Viber. My now average batting. plummeted tonight. No, Absolutely base, plummeted. I have no energy. Look, hey. zero. That's impossible. It hit it, and my runner went past the ball, which would have just interrupted the line of vision of the catcher. Okay, the guy caught it right away anyway. Fuck this game. Fuck this unrealistic bullshit. Get the fuck out of here. Yes, he could see the ball through the guy standing in front of him. Of course he could. Fuck off. Not that it matters. Look at the fucking score. This is fucking preposterously stupid. Hey, get on for us here. Now batting. The first baseman, Josh King. Ugh. No, they're gonna get not enough power yet again. It keeps they keep getting under it. It's not enough power. Terrible. Gee, I wonder why we lost. Maybe because he gave up 12 runs in a fucking inning. Wow. <laughs> Terrible. Terrible fucking team I'm on. Time of the ball game. Four hours and two minutes. He's Diamondback, son. Ugh, my emails are all delayed, man. I hate when this happens. My emails won't won't load. Anyway. Play ball. He's safe. He's out. Got it. Four, four. Take the Three. Three. Have I ever been camping? No. I've been fishing uh, many Not times with my dad. I'd say probably at least the five, six, seven times when I was a kid I went fishing with my dad. Yeah. But never been uh, camping. Whoa, what the hell? Holy shit, where's he throwing that? That was fucking scary. <laughs> See, that's a good solid hit, but they're gonna catch it. It never has enough power behind it. Damn it, man. Did I catch anything? Oh yeah, my dad used to my dad and I used to catch a lot of different kinds of fish. The, the most common one they called, I think they were called sunnies. We used to go freshwater fishing at this uh this lake. What was it called? I think it was called Lake Lilanoa. I could be wrong. I think I remember Lake Lilanoa sounds familiar. And we would go out there on the shore and we'd set up with a couple little chairs and we'd have like a little, you know, a, a lunch that like, you know, sandwiches, crackers, some iced tea mix that we'd bring in the thermos. And we'd sit there and just talk about stuff and fish all day for like, you know, three, four hours in the morning until go. like say afternoon. And it was a lot of fun. The first basement. Hey, you can Oh, what am I doing? I wasn't paying attention. Okay. Got it again at the dude. I have to give up. I'm about to give up. I don't know what else to do. I can't get my... I can't... Get hits three. anymore. I don't know what's happening. Three. My three. team sucks, and I can't even get a single hit. Three. Three. Thank you, Gutter Drums, for another $2 tip. I appreciate that. I'll take the leaderboard in just a moment. The batter, the first baseman, Josh King. And he's right here one time. No. If you reserved a campsite for me and Cap, we would not go vlog it for the weekend. Number one, like I said, we don't like to share our personal stuff uh, on the internet. And number two, sh uh, we wouldn't want to go camping anyway. The million other things we'd want to do, we would not want to go camping. Another one, see? I finally hit it and he catches it easily. Oh my god. All right, 
10. Ten dollars tip so far tonight. Thank you, everybody. Yeah, we always threw the fish back. Honey Yellow Game says that one time he went fishing, he caught him and his friend caught like 70 fish, and his missus was angry because then she had to clean them all. I never kept the fish and ate them. I always threw them back. For us, it was more of a fun thing for sport. It, you know, we weren't trying to kill the fish or eat the fish. Maybe, yeah, I'm gonna get one more at bat, I think. We're still losing four to one, by the way. Still losing four to one. Leading up for the Pirates, the first baseman, Josh King. All right. Home run! Yep. Now the weird thing is I changed my animations. Yeah, he gave me the same animation anyway. Everyone saw on the pre-stream I changed my animations. The, apparently it didn't do it and I got the same animation again. All right, Hashim just tipped me $4. That's the top tip of the night. He says, will you stream tomorrow? Also, do you think pro gamers should be featured on ESPN? I am streaming tomorrow, full day of streaming. Uh, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 on first stream. And then late, on the late stream, it will be um, uh, more judgment. Okay? Now, we still lost the game. Uh, as for should gamers be featured on ESPN, that's up to ESPN. If, is ESPN something that only covers physical uh, physical competition sports, or are they also going to be covering other things? So if ESPN covers video games, chess, you see what I mean? Like, if they're covering things that are games of mental skill, that's fine. Are you going to consider mental skill true sports, or true sports only physical endeavors, like official sports like baseball, basketball, football, etc.? I don't know. That's ESPN's call to do whatever they want, you know? Um, you're going to always get resistance to change, but that's up to them. Uh, let's see here. Save the pig the game did a 200 bit cheer. That's the top cheer of the night. If you could do it, Phil, you overcome worse odds than this in the entirety of your career. Well, you are right. I have. And I just got out of that run and hit a home run. Even though I had the same fucking animation. Even though I changed them on the pre stream. Figure that one out. Um. Okay. Those 200 bits. Yep. Ben Boxer cheer. He said, home run. Thank you, Ben Boxer, for the celebratory cheer. DJ Runo just cheer. He said, I think it's really dumb. You can only improve your stats if you actually get a hit. Uh, how is that? If someone catches your ball, you do not improve power, accuracy, or whatever. It doesn't make sense. I guess you're right. It doesn't make... I guess that does make a point. Just because you hit the ball super hard, and it flew, and some guy was an amazing catcher and caught it out in the outfield. The Why does that mean that, that your stat didn't tonight. improve? I actually First agree with you the there. I never really thought about it until right now. Run. But I think Seven you're right. Hits. No error. Did I think that marching band was a sport in high school? Again, a sport or a competition? It's definitely a competition. I don't know if it's a sport. I don't know about the technical definitions of this stuff, so. Play ball. You're out. Out. Four, four. Take your out. Can, I, can I change the name of the team to the San Diego Stinky Chairs? No, I should I should name my team the, the Pittsburgh Piss Ants. Or the Pittsburgh Pity Parties or something stupid because they're so bad. They can't even get a fucking win at all. The bottom line is, ask if everyone camping, how would you react if someone the popped their head through your tent and asked if you were Josh. DSP? I'd probably beat the shit out of them, chase them through the forest, kick the living shit out of them to invade my fucking camps fight. <laughs> a good hit. A good solid base hit. All right. Hippo said, if I, don't, if I don't joke about sex anymore, is this now a PG-13 stream? Because some of the best comedians will joke about sex. I just don't see the need to. When I was 10 years ago and I was trying to appeal to a teen audience, and that was the in that thing, the risque thing on YouTube, the constantly making sex jokes. You know, but now it's not. It's a different era. 
I don't feel that making sex shows constantly is warranted. I think it's kind of immature and stupid. I've become a more mature person as I got older. So I just don't want to do that shit anymore, quite frankly. I don't, if I don't even find it funny. Why would I want to keep doing it for my viewing audience? You know what I mean? Batting fit. The right fielder. Was the skinniest I've ever been when I was when I was in high school. I was Dickerson. super skinny. I think I was I uh, was I was the same height. I was just under six feet, and I think I was like 180 pounds, something like that. Wow, what a great bunt, idiot. Honest Troll Chase, do you know what part of your, your of Italy you're from? I believe it was Foggia. F-O-G-G-I-A. I think Foggia, Italy is where my family originally comes from. <clears throat> How many legit fights have I actually been in? Maybe like two. And they were both when I was super young. I, you know, since I became an adult, I never got into a fight because I'm not an idiot. <laughs> Batting not. The pitcher. Blue. Plato Bessie says that's not super skinny. Plato Bessie, I was complete skin and bones and muscle. That was it. I had no fat on my body. I was a, basically a, like a bean pole. So I don't know what else you expect me to be. I'm almost six feet tall. So 180 is like n n healthy for someone my height. Young Peter Spiderman, Timmy a dollar fifty. He says, "Oh, the last tipper before that t the tipper was a five dollar tipper, and now I put a four dollar tipper." As a top tipper above the five dollar tipper. Oh, actually, it wasn't the guy before him, but it was Gutter Jumps much earlier. You're right. I got very confused. Let's get Gutter Jumps back up there. Gutter Jumps is the top tipper of the night, by the way. My fault. My fault, guys. Thank you for the tip, uh, Young Peter Spider Man. Keep been keeping a lookout on the stream for for my errors. I am, I am human. To err is human. To forgive is divine. Remember that. They let it fly, baby. Now batting. The first baseman, Josh King. Hey, let it fly up there, huh? That's a great hit, but he got it. Ugh. Still losing 2 nothing. Oh, they just got a 3 hit home run 5 nothing. I mean, this is pretty pathetic 5 nothing again Leading up for the Pirates The first baseman Josh King Change up. Hey, have a rip like you can. Here you go. That's a base hit. Alright. Actually, he dropped it. Are you kidding? Yeah, he dropped it like an idiot. Yeah, he both flubbed it. Now batting, left fielder, David. Sad boy said, what sport do I, do I say deserves more attention than it currently gets? Uh, pogs. Competitive pogs. Back in the day, they were all the rage of the 90s, but now no one talks about them anymore, man. We forgot about the pogs. How could we? With all the millions of varieties that there were. That shit was funny. Pogs. They were made of fucking right cardboard. Cardboard with a print on the side. And they would sell it for like 5 to $10 a pack. Dickerson. Like, what are you, a fucking idiot? You bought a pack of cardboard for $10. Here we go. <laughs> Great. Yes, Pogs. That's what they were called. Pogs. P-O-G-S. Pogs. Not Pogs. Pogs. I didn't say pogs like a like a fucking like a a, a dog paw. I said pogs. P O G. Now batting, left fielder, Mark okay. Costello. Got it. 
Yes, I do remember the, the shoes that had plastic Three. sliders so you could Three. grind rails with them. Three. I remember that. Three. There, boy. Two for three in this game. Now I did not say pogs. I said pogs. <laughs> I know what I said. I didn't say pogs. These fucking weirdos. Again, I popped it up. Oh my god. Ugh. Ugh. Up next for the diamond bag. The left Yeah, I did own a, own a pair of pumps, Boonwood. You're absolutely right. I owned a pair of Reebok pumps. I had them. And they were pretty silly. Like, you would actually feel the air cushions inflate on the sides of the shoe when you pumped them up. But mine broke. I think I had mine for, like, I want to say six to eight months, and the airbag popped and broke. I had them all inflated. I was playing uh, in gym class at school, and then it just went, pop! I was like, what the fuck? Apparently, that was a common occurrence with them, is that basically the air pockets weren't very useful. They would just break. The final line score for our ball game this afternoon for the victorious Diamondbacks. Six runs, seven hits. Yeah, I did hear about this terrible heat wave coming to the East Coast and the Midwest of the United States. So any of you who live there, please prepare and please be safe. It's coming this weekend. It's supposed to be really fucking nasty, like up to over 100 degrees uh, Fahrenheit in most places. Here, we are actually getting hot here too, but it's only going to be in the 80s. So we're lucky, but, you know, please be careful. Front Bottom Filth just cheered and said, when you stop streaming in 10 years, will you auction off pieces of your Love Seeds fabric to your devoted fans? Yes. Yes, I will. Absolutely. No, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sell the empty box the Love Seed came in, and I'm going to put that up on the internet and sell the empty box, because people like to joke about me giving away empty boxes. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to give away the empty boxes that everything ever came in and put those up on the internet, but I'm not going to actually include the item inside the box. There you go. Did I ever dip ranch on my mashed potatoes? No. Yeah, that sounds kind of weird. The only thing I want on my mashed potatoes is either gravy or, uh, like, white gravy, like, country gravy. I wouldn't want, like, other sauces and shit in it. No, I've never fallen for a pyramid scheme. Final Fuzz, yeah, I know. I don't want to really talk about it on the stream, but I hear ya. And, uh, you know, that's just life for me. I just gotta put up with that shit. Ugh, terrible. Terrible. Yeah, Baby Man Gaming, that is one of the reasons why I didn't want to move, like, to the southwest or the south. Or the southeast because of the hot weather. That's correct. I wanted to get somewhere where the weather was much more uh, moderate than where it was in, in Connecticut. Because in Connecticut, it was like every extreme. Insanely hot, humid summers. Insanely cold, frigid, ice-filled, snow-filled winters. It's like, I get all the inclement weather. Just give me, no, like, nice middle weather. And that's what we get most of the time here. That's just one of the major factors of why I moved here. Yoink. No Phantom Fuzz, we're not going to start a legal fund. Please stop this. Please stop this this madness, okay? Now batting, the okay. first baseman, Jacques King. Jacques King. They let a rip up there. Let's go. 
That time, I didn't even touch the thumbstick whatsoever. I just swung, and it still popped up. Sam sent to me a dollar asking, did I see the new Jane Silent Bob reboot trailer? I saw part of it. I didn't see all of it. I only saw like a, like a, a snippet of it on, on Twitter, maybe like 30, 40 seconds. It seems like it's Jane Silent Bob Strike Back sequel. It seems like the same exact kind of movie, right which is fine if you like that kind of humor. Um, and you know, uh, Kevin Smith hasn't made a movie in a long time, so... I'm kind of surprised that this one he was making Clerks 3. Got him, stepping out. But uh, I guess he was making oh, this first. Play ball. Ah. Austin Hedges. Now batting. Catcher. Oh my god, it's the fourth, it's the fourth inning and we're not losing Hedges. by like 14 runs yet. I can't believe it. Nope. Nice. No, you can't. Odds says, can you play a different position? You can't. Only if the game instructs you to, it'll like ask you or offer you, and you can. But no, you can't just pick a different position, sadly. Now batting. The first baseman. One time, right now. Yeah. King. Good one, but not enough power. Yep. Got it again. What was my favorite show from TGIF? Of all the years of TGIF? Probably Perfect Strangers, which was one of the original ones. That was my favorite one of all of them. Yeah, Perfect Strangers, I would say. All right. <laughs> 